Hello all, welcome to Kalam IS Academy. This is Priyanka Mahapatra, faculty at Kalam IS for SC. So today we'll be having a detailed analysis of the topic six of the UPSC paper 2023, that is mathematics is the music of reason. So before actually writing the main content of the essay, you should be spending time towards brainstorming session. You should be spending a good amount of your time, that is 20-25 minutes of your time towards brainstorming session. So what do you do in this brainstorming session? You collect all the ideas that are coming after seeing the topic. Ideas as in the facts, examples, your arguments, macro argument, micro argument, in which way you want to introduce the essay, if you're having any quotation with you or not, if any anecdote can be fitted in or not. In what way you want to conclude by connecting back to the introduction. So you have to create a proper framework for the particular essay in the brainstorming session. And after collecting all the ideas in the rough page of the answer sheet, you would also spend time to logically arrange those ideas and also ensure that each and every argument of yours is having an example associated with it in order to prove the argument you are making. That is how your essay, when you are actually writing, will seem that it is in proper flow. There is coherence of the ideas and there is no repetition of ideas. Right? That is what UPSC is looking forward to. It is saying that your expression should be exact and effective. Yes, we are not doing any repetition of ideas and we are ensuring that the ideas are closely related to the topic. They are very much relevant to the topic. Right? So in the brainstorming section, we actually check for all those parameters which the look, uh, UPSC is looking forward to. Right? So in this particular essay also, you will be creating some four or five major dimensions. First is that you should be exploring the keywords of the essay, that is mathematics, music and reason. Then again, you would be explaining that how mathematics is based on reason. Then you would explain that how music is based on reason. Then you would come to the main ask of the topic, that is how mathematics is the music of reason. Then you would say something about the current relevance, that how it is applicable in the day-to-day -day life then you would come to the way forward. That is how to transform the mathematics into an artistic endeavor. And then you would conclude. So these are the major dimensions of this particular essay. Before actually writing the main content of the essay, I would like to tell you the meaning of this particular quotation. So the quotation mathematics is the music of reason. It implies that mathematics is not at all a dry subject. It is not mechanical as it looks like but it has got some structured patterns some logical relationships which embodies the same sense of beauty and elegance and harmony as the music does right it has got some inherent beauty order symmetry and rationality which is much like the music the beauty found in music although mathematics is rooted in the reason logic but it is not so mechanical it has a beauty component attached to it right just like the music is also having the symmetry the rhythm the notes pattern those things are also seen in case of mathematics thus this metaphor emphasizes the beauty elegance and the order that is there in both the disciplines that is mathematics and music so just as music relies on the principles of harmony, rhythm and structure to create those pleasing compositions, mathematics also uses the logic, reason, pattern and relationship to solve problems. Right? So thus like music, mathematics is a form of intellectual art that appeals to our sense of order and aesthetics. So this is what is the meaning of this particular topic. So first dimension we come to that how mathematics is based on reason. So you would tell here the reason, the things 
where the reason is justified with respect to mathematics you can talk of the logical deductions in proofs for example in proving a theorem the mathematicians use many axioms and previously proven theorems to derive into new conclusions you can talk of symbolic logic over here the logical operators like and or not that use that are used to express the relationship and the conditions you can talk of algebraic manipulations which follow the strict rules of logic for instance when solving equations each step in the manipulation must be logically justified so this is how the mathematics is based on reason based on logic based on relationships right then we would come to the second macro argument of the essay that how music is based on reason so music is often associated with emotion creativity beauty elegance harmony but it has also got strong foundation in reason and structure how the intervals between the musical notes they are based on mathematical ratios the octave represents a 2 is to 1 ratio in frequency then you can talk of beats and rhythms the division of time into measures often in the fraction of 4 by 4 or 3 by 4 it follows a rational and structured pattern then you can talk of chord progressions such as 1 4 5 progression in western music which demonstrate a rational organization of harmonic elements then you would come to the main demand of the topic that is how mathematics is the music of reason so before you have to explain individually that how mathematics is linked to reason how music is linked to reason and again the three that is how mathematics is the music of reason how mathematics is linked to reason by the way of music only by the way of harmony by the way of order by the way of pattern so one notable quotation you can write that is attributed to james joseph sylvester he says that the mathematicians patterns like the painters or the poets must be beautiful the ideas like the colors or the words must fit together in a harmonious way beauty is the first test there is no permanent place in the world for ugly mathematics so this quotation is emphasizing the importance of the beauty and the harmony in mathematical reasoning and expression so basically this quotation is underscoring the idea that the mathematics is not merely a dry subject a utilitarian pursuit it is not and just like any art or poetry it has an aesthetic dimension attached to it right if anybody is knowing this particular quotation then this quotation is going very much well with the topic then you would give many examples of how the mathematics is the music of reason you can talk of fibonacci sequence where each number is the sum of the preceding ones like 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 13. so you must have all read the fibonacci sequence in schools or colleges and the golden ratio that is 1.618 approximately they appear in various natural phenomena and the art around us so it is very much similar to the harmony found in musical compositions as well right and the number theory and the harmony how it is a harmony between the number theory also the mathematical principles behind the harmonic ratios and the musical intervals highlight the connection between the number theory and the harmony in the music then you would talk about that the mathematical patterns in the rhythm in the music they contribute to the ordered and the rhythmic quality of the mathematical compositions then you can talk of that how musical instruments they are also designed or constructed involving the mathematical principles including the physics of sound waves and acoustics so these examples will show that how mathematics and reason play a harmonious role in the creation analysis and understanding of music then you can talk of bhaskara's siddhanta shiromani it presented mathematical theories and calculations related to the arithmetic algebra and geometry that showcased a structured pattern found in the mathematics right so it has 
exemplified that how mathematics they possess a structure order reason creativity much like music so that is how you should be actually establishing the link between the math mathematics and the music in each and every example you are making then you can also say that how mathematics is describing the natural phenomena you can give certain examples then you there you can show that how it is a music it is in the order it is showing some pattern some order it is used to explain the universal principles the universe the cosmology since ancient times we have seen that philosophers like pythagoras they are atomist they applied the mathematical reasoning to areas such as optics acoustics cosmology and geometry they have always viewed mathematics as a means to grasp the fundamental universal principles it is not merely a just a tool just a practical tool but a means for understanding the universal principles even galileo and kepler they have used mathematics ability to explain the natural phenomena you can talk of the fibonacci series how it is seen in the nature everywhere in the form of arrangement of leaves on the stem then seeds that follow a spiral pattern then the spirals found on the pine cones pineapple all the all the uh, spirals we can see on the shells of the snails hurricanes also so they are also all following a pattern of the fibonacci series so these examples will show that how the mathematical underpinnings of a natural world where it is following everywhere a pattern and aesthetics just like music so these suggest that creativity and rationality they are very much complementary to each other they are not at all mutually exclusive but the creativity component and the rationality component they are very much in line with each other so this is how you should be establishing each and every example with the demand of the essay you should be explaining the mathematics and the music in each and every example you are making each and every argument you are making then you can also take help of a quotation just to build the context about the next paragraph right so you want to write about the application of music of reason in the day to day life so a quotation like that mathematics is the alphabet with which god has written the universe by galileo can be taken help of where it is building the context that you are going to write about the universal application of the music of reason right so here you can give many examples from day to day life starting from um the geography example or the climate change example or the traffic engineers example about the finance sector about the entertainment sector you can talk of that how copernicus and galileo they have defied the church's model of geocentricity because of their mathematical calculations only they told that it is not the sun that is revolving it is the earth that is revolving around the sun so that is how the mathematical calculations has defied the hollow testaments of religious verdicts that time then you can talk of the climate scientist how they use the mathematical climate models to predict the weather the global temperatures then you can talk of the traffic engineers how they use the mathematical algorithm to optimize the signal timings you can also talk of the portfolio management where the financial analyst uses calculus to model the volatility of the stocks you can talk of the recommendations made, made by the social media by the netflix and amazon like websites by utilizing the machine learning to suggest the movies or products based on your previous choices so this is how you will make many examples to justify the current relevance of the particular topic then we would talk about the transformative power of mathematical reason lastly in the day to day life that how the mathematical research it has driven innovation it has spurred economic growth because it has been used in finance engineering the growth and development they used to create job opportunities and thereby it is contributing to the prosperity
Then we come to the way ahead part of the essay. How we can transform mathematics into an artistic endeavor. We should be encouraging subjects like mathematics. It should be celebrated as an intellectually engaged artistic pursuit because it embodies creativity, elegance and abstraction. We have medals also given for the mathematics as we are giving it for literature, for art, for films, movies, it's a field model known as the Nobel Prize for Mathematics, which is awarded every four years to mathematicians under 40 years of age for their outstanding achievements. Then we can talk of that how mathematics can be encouraged by collaborating similarly to the music where artists, different artists, they collaborate to create harmonious compositions. Mathematics can, can be also a collaborative endeavor. And lastly, we should be breaking all the stereotypes which is attached to mathematics that girls cannot study. We should be encouraging all the genders to come and study mathematics. Right? So this is how you can create your way head points. Any suggestive thing has to be in the way head. That is the last part of the body. Then you would conclude with the help of any quotation if you know. For example, here Pythagoras stated that numbers govern the cosmos. It governs the universe. So it explains how universe is being governed by mathematics and how mathematics will serve as an unwavering compass in our relentless pursuit of understanding innovation. Then you can also talk that how by embracing the symphony of mathematical understanding or reasoning, we will not only enrich our individual cognition, but also unlock the transformative potential to propel societies to new heights of advancement, cooperation and intellectual unity. So this is how the conclusion will be balanced. It will be visionary. It must be connecting back to the introduction you are making. You can take help of quotations as well. Like mathematics is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of the human spirit by Stephen Banach. So here, again, I want to emphasize that quotations come with a cautionary word. If your quotation is not fitting in with your meaning of the essay, then it will backfire you. But if the quotation is going well, nothing like it. But quotations are not a mandatory thing to be used in each and every essay. It is based on your comfort, your ease. If you are comfortable in remembering the quotations, go ahead. Otherwise, it is not at all a mandatory thing. You can take help of the anecdote. You can take help of the uh, visionary uh, note at the end. Right. So that is how you can conclude the essays. So this was all about this topic discussion. This topic was a bit tricky. Very less people, they have actually attempted this essay. So I have told you the broad framework of this essay. I'm not telling that this is the only way of writing this particular essay. You have your own way. You can have your own ideas. So if you are having any other approach of writing the essay, please comment. Please write it down in the comment box. I'll see to that. So till then, bye-bye. Take care. Thank you so much.